Hello everyone. In this video, we'll try to understand part two transformation. So part two transformation is one of the widely used, you know, a transformation in Apache Beam. Okay, let's get started. So what is part two transformation? It's a general purpose transformation, right? Which will take your P collection as input and can emit zero, one or more outputs. Okay, let, let me make it very simple. When you talk about map, flat map, filter, which we already have seen in our last videos, these are internal implementations of part two. Okay, so, so I uploaded the data. We know this data pretty well. This is what you know we are using from our last videos. So I'm uploading, I'm importing the Apache Beam, right? And I created the pipeline, I'm reading the file. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm splitting my file with comma right and then i'm filtering out and then i'm creating a key comma value pair and then we are combining by key let me run this right <clears throat> now this is how it works right when you talk about the map and filter as i just discussed in the starting of the video part two can be replaced sorry map filter and flat map can be replaced with the part two how we can replace we are going to see it now right now this is the logic right the splitting logic with comma i am going to replace with the part two so for this what we need to do is we need to implement the do fun class i created the uh, class uh, with the name split row you can give any name and i'm just implementing the do fun do function beam dot do fun right and i need to and i need to overwrite the method called process which is under the two fun class right you cannot give you know uh, the function name as you wish it has to be process because we are overwriting this function and then i'm saying customer equal to element dot split and i'm returning the customer here i'm using yield why i'm using yield we'll understand in some time at the same time, what we are doing, we are filtering it, filtering based on the cache, right? So as again, I, I uh, you know, implemented the proof and class and then I overwrite the method called process, right? I'm just taking if element of three, which is nothing but zero, one, two, three is cache. Then I am returning an element. Did you see here? I'm not using here, but I'm returning my element in the list. Why? Again, we'll discuss in some time. After that, what I'm doing, I'm doing key comma value pair. The same steps report. Implement the DoFun class, right? Overwrite the process method, which is in the DoFun class and return the value. Now coming to our main part. Did you see, I'm just saying part two, split row, right? And part two, filter. Filter the data, which is which has only cache. And then part two, create a key comma value pair. We all know this. We have covered all these things in our previous videos. And then I'm just combining by key. If I run this, obviously I'll get the, okay. First I need to run this functions. Let me run this now. Did you see? We got the same results, right? This is how we can use part two. Now, what I'm doing is instead of yield, let me just say return and see how it works. Do you see? We get string index out of range. Okay. Now, let me put instead of yield, let me put return, but set it in the list. Right? Did you see it worked? Which means your part two function will always expect a iterable, which is it will always expect some list. We already know what yield does, right? Yield will always get an iterable, right? Which can be iterable, which can be iteratable, which is nothing but your list, right? So I'm repeating myself again. Part two function will always expect a list, okay? So now what is the last? This is a filter, right? Maybe, well, we'll let me 
copy this i just wanted to show you the example how it looks like right let me remove all these things right i'm just printing i'm just printing the row and printing it you see now let's say if i remove this this particular list in my split row now let me run this did you see one two three hundred one two three wish for hundred you pay one two three sati two hundred cash right so it will expect all the elements as a list instead of you know return i can say yield as usual i'm bad at spellings even though i do it many times right e will will obviously return it right which is nothing but your list or double or whatever it is you see so hope you enjoy this video in the next video we'll try to understand how we can you know use side inputs in part two transformation please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you